Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how to download and upload a SVG into Design Space. Okay, so I went to Love SVG, which is a great site. You can buy fonts, you can get free fonts, you can buy SVGs, but they also have free SVGs. So I'm going to click on free SVG files. And they have all sorts of cute little files like this. Find one that I want to download here. Okay, so I'm going to download this one. You just click on it. Brings you to this page, shows you what it looks like, tells you what's included in the zip file. It gives you the option to purchase the commercial license. You go here and purchase single product commercial license for just that. Um, monthly, if you're going to download a whole bunch, or yearly. So I'm not going to download that or do that because I'm not going to sell it or anything with it on there. So you just push down the zip file. I always put them on my desktop so that I know where they are. No question about it. And you just push save. Now if you're on Windows, you have to unzip it and extract it. On Mac, you don't. It just comes open with this. Okay, so then you go over to Design Space, you go to Upload, you go to Upload Image, and you take this SVG file, drag it right in there. After you do that, you can save it as whatever you want, tag it, if you have little tags you put in there so you can search for stuff, then you just save it. You can delete the file that you downloaded, once you get it in here, you can just click on your image here, insert it into your project. Here it is, and it comes in all different pieces. What I like to do is I like to ungroup them. That way I can see all the different pieces. And, and then I'm going to ungroup that. Okay, so that's all one word already, so I'm not going to bother that. You can change its color if you want to, to whatever you want. And on these, these are going to stay together unless you want to move them around. If you want them to stay like they are, you can attach them and weld them. If you want to move them around, you can attach them and weld them when you get them there. I'm just going to leave them like this. I'm going to attach them so they'll stay together. I always weld just to be safe. They're the same color. Now these are all separate. I don't want them to print like that because I want to have to put them together. So I'm going to ungroup this. Take these. I am going to attach them, weld them, and then I'm going to change the color to something else. There, change the color shows it over here. Now these mountains, they're two separate pieces. I'm going to attach and weld those so they stay put. And then you can put it all back together so you can see what it looks like and put it together however you want. And then you can move them around however you want. Make them as big as small as you want. You can unlock it then you can really move it, but I like to keep it locked because I don't like to mess it up. So then you press make it, and it puts it all into separate little sheets here. So each color is a different map. And you just continue and you go on from there. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. If you want to see a different video, just let me know.